Hey everyone, this is Linnea Lucan, Research Fellow at the Heartland Institute's Arthur B. Robinson Center on Climate and Environmental Policy, here with a quick climate fact check on cold snaps and the polar vortex, using research from our Climate at a Glance for Teachers and Students book, which you can find in print and online at climateataglance.com. I'm sitting in South Carolina, and it's actually pretty chilly at this time of year, but not too bad. Other places across the country and Europe have seen some early cold snaps, and even snow. Wichita, Kansas just had the second snowiest November day since 1888. These kinds of cold snaps are often blamed on climate change, but data refutes claims that climate change is causing extremely cold temperatures or increasing the number or strength of polar vortex events. Let's look at the facts. Right off the bat, the United Nations Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change says in their climate assessment that it's very likely that there have been fewer extremely cold days and nights in recent decades, and is virtually certain that this trend in declining extreme cold will continue. Likewise, in the United States, data from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA, as I'll say from now on, show that extreme cold events have not increased. But what about the polar vortex? Well, not every cold snap is due to the polar vortex, and misinformation is being spread about what's actually going on with it. While you might hear the term polar vortex more nowadays in the news than in the past, it actually was first described in 1853. The vortex itself is a naturally occurring circulation pattern of low pressure cold air on the north and south poles. Sometimes it gets less stable, it wobbles and sends cold air south. But as discussed in the Heartland Institute's educational booklet, Climate at a Glance, long-term observational data undermines claims that such events have become more frequent or severe. Even computer models that are specifically trying to tie polar vortex events to global warming produce inconsistent and contradictory results. A polar vortex outbreak is an individual weather event, which is not something that can be directly attributed to climate change. To make that link, we would have to see a consistent long-term trend, but there is no new trend in the frequency or severity of polar vortex events. That's it for this video. If you want more information and our references and sources, please check out climateatglance.com, where you can find pages about cold spells, the polar vortex, and even snowpack, as well as get a digital copy of the book so that you can read it yourself. Thanks for watching.